To film that chariot race, which runs 11 minutes on screen, it took six months of planning and 10 weeks of filming, and it cost $1 million to do. Now, something I find very interesting about Ben-Hur, before the film came out, there was one man in Hollywood, above all others, who is best known for making king-size movie spectacles, and that was Cecil B. DeMille. Public loved his movies, even though the critics were usually pretty cynical about the merits of his films. But DeMille kept trying for years, and with only limited success, to turn out a biblical epic that would please the critics as much as it pleased movie audiences. But he never quite accomplished that. The irony is that DeMille died in early 1959, and 10 months later, Ben-Hur was released and received exactly the kind of critical acclaim DeMille had always hoped for. His dream was finally accomplished, but not by him, but by director William Wyler. Up next, and from the same year of 1959, Cary Grant is on the run in one of Alfred Hitchcock's most exciting thrillers. Tonight on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, George Tomasina cuts together North by Northwest, then editor Louis R. Leffler builds tension in Anatomy of a Murder, and Walter Thompson gets the Best Editing nomination for The Nun's Story.